How's the cookie? You wanna know? It's the Oreo Review Show. Welcome to the Oreo Review Show. I hope you've got your sleeping bags and your bug spray, cause today oh, we're going camping. And don't think I didn't remember to bring along that classic camping treat, s'mores, Oreos. These are the limited edition s'mores Oreos. They used to be a thing, then they weren't a thing, and now they are thing once more. The cookie's so popular that they were gone for like three and a half years, and now they brought them back. Everybody likes a s'more. Everybody likes a graham cracker with the marshmallow and a chocolate bar and another graham cracker. A s'more is generally best when the ingredients are fresh and pure. Then again, graham crackers and Hershey's bars, those are uh, prepackaged. Marshmallows, prepackaged. Uh, yeah, I guess the only thing that's really fresh about a s'more is the campfire. So maybe Nabisco has a shot with this one. Let's find out. This is a bit of an unusual Oreo, my friends, because we're talking about two separate types of cream combined into a singular cookie. The cookie, of course, is a graham cracker, which I have to assume is gonna be roughly the same thing as was in the carrot cake Oreo, with perhaps some slight variants. The cream is one half chocolate. Again, I gotta assume pretty similar to the chocolate Oreo cream. The unknown quantity in this baby is the marshmallow cream. Marshmallow flavor cream. I think it's gonna be tough to nail down that specific gooey mallow texture but maybe they can replicate the flavor well enough with the other ingredients that it won't be such a big deal. I do kind of like the way that the cream is situated in there. It's not just two flat pieces. It, it's kind of, it kind of swirls. It's got a, it's got a pleasing design to it. I don't know what happened there. Right off the bat, let's just get this out of the way up front. That wasn't a bad experience. I'm definitely going to have to bite into a couple more of these, not necessarily right away. Let's relax for a second. But I'm still trying to process exactly what my feelings are on this. Like I said, it wasn't bad. It wasn't repulsive. You know, the graham cracker cookie, I'm not crazy about, but it works in this instance. It actually makes a lot more sense as the base of a s'more flavored cookie than, say, carrot cake. The thing that I'm not really getting fully in this is the taste of the marshmallow or even the chocolate. I kind of tasted both, but at the same time, kind of tasted neither. So I'm not sure how well executed those are. I might have to, you know, do a little of a split seas and neat the, the The two creams are well fused together here. It, I, I really can't, it's not like they come apart as two separate entities. They really are one thing. I'm gonna do something that I am not proud of, but I do this for science and I do this for you. So know that you're to blame. I'm gonna eat just some of this cream that's peeling off in a very revolting way and see how I feel about just some of this cream. I'm sorry, God. <laughs> this is fucking gross. I'm sorry. Uh, oh. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Again, this didn't really help me that much. I, it just tastes mostly like the chocolate. You know, it tastes very similar to the dark chocolate Oreo cream, which I am a huge proponent of. 
And once again, I gotta make that Dunkaroo comparison. It's got a real strong Dunkaroo vibe. You know, they call them s'mores because when you eat one of them, you're gonna want some more. Is that actually why they call them that? Hey Google, why do they call it a s'more? On the website wonderopolis.org, they say, however, the first published recipe for some mores was in a 1927 publication called Tramping and Trailing with the Girl Scouts. Loretta Scott Crew, who made them for Girl Scouts by the campfire, is given credit for the recipe. What? I said, on the website wonderopolis.org, they say, however, the first published recipe for some mores was in a 1927 publication called Tramping and Trailing with the Girl Scouts. Loretta Scott Crew, who made them for Girl Scouts by the campfire, is given credit for the recipe. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Here's what's nice about the s'more. Even though we're looking at a DSP cookie, it's two different types of cream. So each one isolated is really in itself just a, just a regular proportion Oreo mixed with the other thing. And what that means is you're not getting overwhelmed by one specific flavor. Generally, my problem with double stuffs is the proportions are out of whack, the contrast isn't strong enough because all you're tasting is that one gross kind of cream. In this one though, oh, the contrast is strong. At least it should be, but I think that that chocolate is just too powerful a flavor and I'm really not getting a lot of the marshmallow here, which maybe is in the cookie's favor because my guess is Nabisco couldn't pull off a great marshmallow cream, so this way they just kind of half-ass it and most people won't really notice, they're just tasting the chocolate. But even though you're not really tasting that marshmallow specifically, it is doing its job to lessen the power of the chocolate. I'm kind of going back and forth on this one, even though the chocolate is really strong, I think the marshmallow in its own subtle way does do enough to balance it out. Especially with this graham cracker cookie, you know, that makes the whole thing a little bit lighter. It's not like a bunch of chocolate going in your mouth all the time. I kind of like it. Oh, check this out. You can snack, win, and scan, not necessarily in that order. The ultimate home theater makeover. Free movie tickets or Fun daily prizes. Visit ScreenTimeFavorites.com for details. Details! Woo! -hoo! All right, I'm on ScreenTimeFavorites.com. They told me to uh, use my phone and allow it camera access, so I'm going to. <gasps> yes, I am 18 years of age or older. Scan your Participating Snacks brand logo or the Nabisco logo by lining up the logo within the thing. Once you've scanned, get prepared to take on the Snack Time Superheroes Challenge. Behold, s'mores, scan. It's, just, it's got this. What's this? Oh, it works. Now to play a game. All right, I'm playing this game. I'm playing it so you guys can see the screen. Wait, what? So because I was trying to be nice and let you see the game, I lost. Thanks a lot, assholes. It's not a total loss though. I got this face filter, which is me with a, I have laser eyes. That's the sound you're hearing. Was I doing something? Was I reviewing an Oreo? Oh yeah, the s'mores Oreo! Listen people, I wasn't excited for this. I didn't think it was going to be good. I thought that I would want some smless. I thought this was going to be a smess. Turns out it's not, it's a s'mores Oreo. And for a final score <laughs> I've never done that before. It's very funny. For a final sc score, yo, I'm going <laughs> to... 
give this uh, s'mores Oreo a rating. On a scale from zero Oreos being the worst to uh, one complete Oreo being the best, oh, guess what, kiddos? Oh, this is getting a half a cookie with cream. That's right, I really enjoyed it. Go out there, get a s'mores Oreo. It's one of the few flavors that Nabisco kind of got right, and I can understand why they decided to begrudgingly bring it back after all these years, because they tried a bunch of other shitty flavors, and no one liked those, so they, they had to go back to this one. It's a, it's a s'more. Before I conclude today, I do want to try out one final test. Of course, if you're going camping and you're making s'mores, well... You're missing one key ingredient here, and that's fire! Let's find out what happens if we roast one of these suckers. Oh, that's good. That is melty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, do that. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel so you'll be alerted whenever I come out with a review for a new Oreo that may or may not actually be good. If you've got a tip about fire safety, leave it in the comments down below or anything else on your silly little head. I'll see you guys out in the woods. Until next time, this is me signing off with a, a little old bit of this. Oreo! How's the cookie? You wanna know? It's the Oreo Review Show.